That way it pumps out the whole shower basin instead of turning off. This is a typical marine shower basin. As you take a shower, the basin fills up and then you're supposed to press this button on the wall to pump out the shower basin. And now removing the cover from the shower basin reveals the shower basin itself. But this one has a 25 amp C-Flow float switch in it. Instead of having to push the button on the wall, when the float switch activates, it turns on the shower pump. Filling up the shower basin as if you were taking a shower. Now the float switch has activated and the basin is being pumped out. In this installation, I have the float switch connected to a relay, which keeps pumping it even after the float switch deactivates for a set amount of time. That way it pumps out the whole shower basin instead of turning off. And it turned off. This is the relay that I have working with the float switch and the button. I got it on Amazon. It seems like it's a very good quality switch and you can adjust you can adjust the relay time with these dials. I also have this button connected to the relay, so if I push it, it'll turn on the pump for that set amount of time. But the good thing about having the float switch also is that you don't have to do anything and the shower pump then acts as a backup bilge pump and I have four heads so I have four backup bilge pumps just by having the float switch in the shower drain. Here we have the two Seaflow 33 series pumps that act as shower pumps. Now we'll turn one on. You can see it running. The problem with the Seaflow 33 series is that it's so quiet, it's really hard to hear it running. That and the Seaflow pump costs about 50 bucks compared to the Jabsco for 300.